All right, guys, we are headed off to the States. This is my first time actually traveling alone, so I'm gonna film a few clips along the way. But I have basically all of my belongings with me. A backpack and then two suitcases in the back. That is everything. First time traveling solo, so far so good. What's up everyone, how you doing? So in this video, I'm going to tell the story of going to public high school for the first time in my entire life at 17 years old. And I'm going to start at the beginning, but first of all, this room may be slightly echoey. It's the best spot that I can find outside. It is just incredibly noisy, but we're gonna make do with this. I'm sure it'll be fine. So let's start off way back in the beginning. All right, so the way that I grew up was going to a private school, a very small school. There was about 60 students, and that was from kindergarten all the way through like seventh, eighth grade. And that school is where I went for the majority of my childhood. But then around, when was it? It was about like seventh or eighth, like around eighth grade, I would say. I really wanted to try homeschooling. It was after seventh or eighth grade, something like that. I really wanted to try homeschooling because I a lot of my friends had done homeschooling and it just seemed like they had all this free time. And I was like, I just really want to try this. So I was like, I would nag my parents all the time that I really want to do homeschool and this and that. And then finally one day they're like, all right, you, get, you can do homeschool. So I was like, sweet, awesome. So I have been doing, doing homeschool for the past few years. That has given me time, like time in the day to, to have filmed a lot of the videos that I've done for my YouTube channel. Also, a lot of opportunities and gigs I got a chance to be involved with because of doing homeschool, because I had more time and I could do my work at, at nighttime or do more of it this day and stuff. And then in my close, getting close to my last year of high school, so I'm now a senior, but I decided that I wanted to try out going to a public high school because I'd gone to a small private school, I'd done homeschool, but the one thing I'd never done is gone to a public high school. And my parents, they always, they was always, they'd always say stuff like, "Oh, you, you should, you should try going to a public high school because like you have it so easy, you know, homeschool and stuff." So I am now getting the chance to try it. Also. On my channel, a lot of, I've received many comments from maybe you or some another viewer who was like, I really wish I could live your life. Um, I hate going to my public school, my public high school. And I've always wondered like, I wanna go and try this public high school that everyone always talks about. The only image that I had of this public high school thing was how they portrayed in movies and then any ideas that I've come up in my, in my mind but I'm now actually living in the States, moved from Costa Rica, now living in the States, going to a public school. I've been going for about, it's been about three weeks. And I can say, well, the least I can say is it has been one heck of an experience. Um, it's been incredibly cool coming and seeing what it's actually like because once I decided that I was gonna move here and go to, um, um, an ordinary public school, nothing special. I started like thinking about how it was gonna go, trying to predict how my experience was gonna be, what the people were gonna be like. But is with most things, you can try to imagine what it's gonna be like, but it always is slightly off of what it's actually like in, in once you're actually doing it. A few major differences that I've noticed just from being here, living here for a few weeks and kind of getting into a routine is one thing is the difference in the way people spend their free time. So here, like sporting events are a really big thing. Just the other day, I went to my first ever football game and there was like thousands of people there and it's like a really big thing. Whereas back at my, back at, it, this is my home, so back at my like other or old home, sporting events like aren't really a thing. There's maybe soccer games where a couple hundred people show up once in a while 
but it's nothing like here. There's like football games every other weekend, it seems like. Um, also stuff like baseball and all, all that stuff. And since I haven't really gone to sporting events or something, I am like going, I was like going to one and like a few hours before I was looking up on YouTube, how does football work and the rules and stuff so that I like understood kind of what was going on because I've grown up like um, doing stuff like exploring and um, surfing and skateboarding. And then here, there are people that skateboard, of course, pretty much everywhere. Someone skateboards everywhere. But then there's like, there's a lot of different things that I'm kind of like adapting to and it's stuff that I haven't really been like doing or been like a, a done for like fun in the past. So that transition is not bad, but it is, it is different for sure. Another thing that is, it was a big reason that I was really excited to move here and you know, just like experience living in the States is Back at home, there is only so many people because it's a fairly small town. Like there are other kids my same age, don't get me wrong, but here there is just, like just at my school alone, which is just within like a 20 minute or 30 minute area around me, there's like, there's 4,000 kids at that school. That's like crazy. And that's all kids that are somewhat similar age, whether a few years older, a few years younger, but like similar age. So here there is just, an a plethora, an endless amount of people to meet. And that was like a huge reason that I was incredibly excited because I was like, there's gonna be so many more people to meet and I was very excited about that. And so far, it's been going pretty good. What else is there? Um, the schooling. So the schooling is challenging in its ways. The, like in the terms of the schooling that I have been doing, for a while because it's in Costa Rica, I wasn't necessarily learning about a lot of the maybe history and stuff that has to do with the states. So like one of my classes is US government and we're learning a lot about like the history and maybe the amendments and the Bill of Rights and all that stuff, which is stuff that I haven't really studied or gone over that much living in Costa Rica. In Costa Rica, I'm learning about the volcanoes there and the different provinces and the names of the towns and this and whatnot. Also a lot of stuff in Spanish. So it's like very transitioning um, to kind of have to get up to speed a lot quicker because a lot of the kids here, they've been going over these things their whole life. And I'm like jumping in this into this as a senior, my last year of school. So I have to like learn this stuff really quickly and try to understand it to the best of my abilities. But so far it hasn't been too too bad. Just gotta like put in the effort, pay attention in class, um, make sure I do the stuff. And sometimes I have to study a little bit more um, after school or on the weekend or whatever to understand a little bit better. But besides that, it has been pretty good. So now that I'm living here, will not be seeing Costa Rica vlogs for a little while. I'm not sure how long I'm going to live here for. The original plan was to just come here and try out high school for a few months and then decide where I wanna go from there, if I wanna move back, um, like um, see through the year, like see it out so I finish the year and graduate here. I'm still deciding. So far, like I've been having a really good time. Of course, there's some things that I miss slightly, but there's so many more, there's so many other things to be like excited about being here. So it's like, um, also, what types of videos would you all like to see here on YouTube? I could do maybe like a room tour. My room is pretty like bare bones. First of all, I moved here not too long ago, but also I'm just like keeping it clean, keeping it simple, not having unnecessary clutter all around. Um, but if you guys would like to see a room tour, let me know. YouTube still has all my comments disabled, but if you're watching this on Patreon where you get early access, drop a comment below what types of videos you'd like to see. Oh yeah, if you haven't checked out my Patreon, or even if you have, be sure to check it out. Whoa, link in the description. Get early access to videos, also do exclusive live streams, behind the scenes content, definitely check that out. All right, I would say that's a wrap for this video. I just wanted to do this, keep you guys up to date on what's going on, what's going on in my mind. Whenever I go and do things for the first time or it, whatever it is, I'll try to film some clips on my phone so the quality isn't as good. But honestly, phone, okay, we're, we're definitely getting sidetracked. Anyways, thank you for watching the video, for um, staying, um, tuning in. It really is appreciated and means a lot.
Remember to keep always doing more awesome stuff. You know, we out, we out here doing more awesome stuff. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna like go on to like some um, motivational speech. But you know, we're just gonna end it here. Remember to keep always doing more awesome stuff. Booyah. Actually, I'm not sure if it makes sense to say booyah and then do that, or to go, psh, booyah, psh. yeah. That feels a little, a bit vibier, a bit more, a bit groovier. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. All right, catch you later. First day of school, here we go. It's actually raining and hasn't rained the entire time. I've only been here a few days, but it hasn't rained at all, raining today. It's only been a few months of building up to this, thinking about it, preparing, getting this and that, moving, all that, and now it's finally time. It's go time, it is go time. Yep, first day of school and it is raining. Here we are, all dressed up. I mean, at least to some degree dressed up. Not that dressed up, just dressed, casually. So many cars, so many people. I mean, they said there's 4,000 kids. I don't think they were joking because we've been in traffic. There's tons of school buses. It is absolute madness. Excited for your first day? Not impressed. Not impressed. Just finished my first period. Dang, is this crazy. Whoa. That's a wrap for the first day of school. So because of the way the credits from my home school lined up with going to this school for, and I'm a senior, my class, I only have three periods a day instead of four. So I actually get out of school two hours before the majority of the school. There's a bunch of other seniors that have the same thing, but a lot of them either go home or whatnot. So I've just been hanging out for the past two hours, cruising around, talking with some other kids who are in my grade who are get um, like, get off early, I'm not sure the correct term, but first day of school, wow, what an experience. So many people, so many people everywhere, um, but overall pretty cool, got to chat and meet with, meet a few people, but it's crazy, there's just kids everywhere right now, like I'm in the hallway. Check this out, earlier today, I was walking through here, and it was absolutely packed, and in about five minutes it's going to be packed because everyone's gonna get out of school, but, it's completely, completely empty. It's pretty fun walking through here. Do like a time lapse one day where all the kids pop up.